I'll be the first to admit that I don't know everything about online business. I've been doing it for a while and learned a lot, but recently I made a big mistake and I wanna share that with you guys today so you don't make the same mistake. Hi everyone, my name is Greg and I like to talk about online entrepreneurship. So if you're interested in making money online or anything in that area, feel free to look through the channel and you might find some stuff that you like. With that being said, just recently, if you've been following along, I just released my first masterclass. And this was something that was really big for me, kind of a monumental moment. And I did a lot of new things in the process. Now in the process of this, I had to use email marketing, which I don't typically use. Now the purpose of this was to share the message that this course was now available, what kind of discount there was going to be for how long for the first people signing up. And this is where I made a really big mistake. So just the other day on the 10th was when this officially launched and I had an email campaign ready to go that would send at 9 a.m. on the 10th, letting everyone know that the course was now available and they could enroll. In the past, I have used MailChimp for email services because you get 2,000 contacts completely for free. So it's really nice, you don't have to pay for anything and you can still email up to 2,000 people. Now, one of my other businesses, the photography business, I've had no problem with this. I've been using MailChimp for a long time and under 2,000 contacts, so it's completely free. There is no monthly fee that you have to pay. So that's great. Well, I decided to use MailChimp for this, thinking that under 2,000 contacts, it would be free and it would be a no-brainer. Now, I spent basically the entire day on the 9th, which was the day before it launched, putting together the email sequence that would go out to notify you guys that it was available on the 10th, the following day. Well, I had this all ready to go, scheduled to go out on the 10th at nine in the morning. And when I woke up at 7 a.m. that day, I went through my emails and found an email from MailChimp saying that they banned my account. This was literally two hours before this launch was supposed to happen. So as you can imagine, I started freaking out. So this was a brand new MailChimp account. And the reason that they banned it is because I had mentioned how to make money. Now I've known in the past that MailChimp does not like affiliate marketing, but I wasn't affiliate marketing. I was promoting my own course. So I thought I would be fine. However, in those emails, I put how to make money. I guess I was talking about that topic. So their automatic spam filter picked that up and banned my entire account. Now, the only way to resolve this is to send a message to customer service and wait on them to get back to you to approve the account. Well, I only had two hours that morning to do that. So obviously this was not going to work. So what I had done was created another free MailChimp account. This was my last ditch effort. And I set it up really quickly. And I basically just recreated that first email that was going to go out and did this in under two hours and still got this out to you guys. But boy, do I tell you that was a pain and so unnecessary first thing that morning. Now that got the first email out. So that bought me a bit more time, but I still have two more emails to send out to you guys. One went out this morning saying that there's two days left to get it at the discounted price. And then one's going to go out on the 14th saying that it's the absolute last day to get it at that 50% off price. So knowing that MailChimp's automated filter is going to ban this account as well, I had to start looking at different email providers. Now in the past, I have used a couple, but I never really found one that I really liked. So this kind of forced me to really look into different email providers and find one that I really like that supports promoting how to make money online or different topics that they're not just going to ban. And then also is affiliate marketing friendly. So you can actually promote affiliate offers and not get your account banned like MailChimp would. So with that being said, in the last couple of days, I've dug through quite a few of these and I ended up going with AWeber. Now I haven't used AWeber in the past, but I've been using it for the past couple of days. And if you got the email today, then you saw that it actually comes out really nicely and their builder's pretty easy. They even give you the first month completely for free. After that, it's something like $20 per month, but you have full control over your emails. There's not going to be an automated spam filter that's just going to randomly block your account and you have no customer service to fix that for you. So this is affiliate marketing friendly, which is a huge plus. And the second big thing that I really like about AWeber so far is that I had a couple questions setting up my account and I reached out to customer service and I had a response back, I think it was within five minutes, if not 10 at the most. I was not expecting this, but apparently they have 24 seven customer service. So you can call them or you can shoot them a message and you get a quick response back. So for something like $20 a month, this is actually really good bang for your buck. You can promote affiliate offers and they have extremely good customer service. There's not much more that you can ask for with an email marketing service. So I'm gonna continue to use AWeber and if I find anything wrong with it, I'll absolutely make you guys a video to let you know. But up until now, I really do like it and it's definitely better than an automated spam filter blocking your whole campaign two hours before it's supposed to go out. So if you wanna check out AWeber, I'll put a link down in the description. They do have an affiliate program, so it doesn't make sense for me not to be a part of it. 
So I'm gonna leave my affiliate link to Aweber down in the description. To be extremely transparent about this, the affiliate link for Aweber gives me 30% of whatever you start paying per month. And the first month is completely free, so you can just try it out. And if it's something you really don't need, then you can cancel it. But for 20 bucks a month, I think it's worth every penny to have a good email provider, especially for affiliate marketing. So check it out, let me know what you guys think. If you want some tutorials on how to use it, it took me a couple minutes to figure out how to use the builder and things like that. So if you want some tutorials on that, let me know. I'd be happy to make some tutorials on how to make your campaigns, how to set up automated sequences and to build the templates. If you want some of those, leave them down in the description and I can put together some videos for you. But with all that being said, hopefully this video saves you some frustration down the road with MailChimp and you don't have to go through what I went through. It's like a mini heart attack for no reason. And lastly, if you're still interested in the Online Income Academy Masterclass, that's going to be 50% off until the 15th. That's the end of when I can offer that at a discount. I put so much into that course. But after that, you guys will always get 20% off the course. Just make sure you use the link that's in the description on YouTube. That's the only link where you'll be able to get the 20% coupon. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video.